Hello, welcome to the channel. Now I've just been working on this, which is very much work in progress. I've been uh, painting it a step at a time over the past uh, two or three weeks. So watch me paint some of it here and talk my usual random nonsense. Don't forget to subscribe and um, without further ado, let's do some painting. Hello, welcome to my latest video. Slightly different approach today. Um, it doesn't take a rocket doctor to realise that uh, this is a voiceover and not live. You'll soon realise because my hands will be moving about and completely out of sync with what my voice is saying. Anyway, um, I'm going to be painting on this canvas, not canvas, what is it, wooden panel which I got from the tip and it's got a painting on it already which I've been working on over the past two or three weeks so I'm just doing it a bit at a time so it's work in progress. Now I did this video the other day and I measured it and I can't remember how big it was, it was something like 38 by I think it was 17 and a half something like that so um, yeah, really isn't a good rig, it's not bad at all, I quite like working on wood. So the reason for the voiceover was I'd run out of battery on my microphone and did a um, 25 minute video of me talking to myself without realising my microphone had run out of battery. So there we are, I thought I'd do a, a voiceover. I attempted a voiceover yesterday, which didn't go to plan at all, because I started uh, started laughing in a big way. So I'll put um, a clip of that here. So a pointer will come into shot in a minute, I'm sure. Oh no, the one will see <laughs> <laughs> oh God Almighty! <laughs> oh Jesus! So yeah, here's my pointer. <laughs> Paint's great. <laughs> oh, got sap green. <laughs> I don't know what that colour is. In all honesty, <laughs> that's prime. <laughs> Can't be red. <laughs> Medium yellow. <laughs> oh God, that's blue. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh god <laughs> that's me colours <laughs> oh if you know what's wrong but anyway <laughs> oh this is going to be a disaster um so yeah it was uh pretty funny and interesting so anyway hopefully no such luck today i just try and remember what is on my palette now there's a long pause while i do some pointing at it um, my glass panel with a sheet of a4 underneath or two sheets of a4 all needs cleaning actually so i'll just put some Payne's gray down which i'm getting a bit low on It's an ideal opportunity to look at the state of my jeans. They are actually jeans I'm wearing. They're just covered in layers of paint, you know, painting every day. I think I've been wearing them for about for a couple of years at least. Just plunk some linseed oil in the middle. And we'll get going, hopefully a pointer. So, Payne's Grey, I've got some um, sap green. That is a bit muddy and oval. I'm not going to use that colour. It's not very nice at all. I've got some primary red. I've got Indian yellow, medium yellow, raw something, raw umber, and a little bit of primary blue mixed into titanium white, make a nice sky colour. And, of course, titanium white on its own. Hey, success! I've managed to navigate that bit without laughing or forgetting what's on my palette anyway we'll get going so uh yeah hope you're keeping well 
and all that jazz. Now you'll uh, notice I've got um, gloves, serial killer gloves. I'm not a serial killer. Um, I'm not Dexter or like that. There's one of my subscribers, um, Joe H. Art, they've got a um, um, YouTube channel, so I'll put the link in the description. Check out Joe H. Art, Joe Hope Artist on Instagram. Um, they you know, they've watched my videos and they realise that I use my fingers a lot, particularly the sky. Now, they suggested wearing gloves because although oil paint has gone a long way, it's not as toxic as it used to be. Some of the cadmiums, you know, cadmium yellow, cadmium red, um, are still a bit dodgy. So they suggested I wear gloves. Now, Joe um, is a superb artist, you know, far more experienced and far more talented than I am. So anything Joe says, I'll take to the bank because um, their art is absolutely superb. So check out the link in the description. So anyway, I'm going to darken off this foreground, get a bit of uh, Payne's Grey and Sap Green. And just start plonking on, see what happens. Yeah, the other day I was, uh, on one of my videos, I was banging on about um, growing up in the little village in the Peak District. And I was talking about some of the, the village hubs, if you like, like the, um, the shop. The, oh, my arm moved in the right time then, a gesture. Uh, the local shop was a community hub. You had uh, Basil, the fruit and veg man. And, you know, we had uh, the village hall, which was brilliant. We, um, you know, had everything in the village hall. We had Christmas fairs, summer fairs, um, brick a -back. I can't even say it, brick a -brack sales, I call it shit a shat but yeah, brick a -brack sales and we had uh, fundraising events, um, Halloween parties, you name it, and that was, uh, growing up in primary school, that was where we had school dinners in the village hall, because it was only a small school, it didn't have its own kitchen or a dinner hall or a sports hall, it was all done in the village hall which was good it uh it meant us walking you know from the school along the village to uh the village hall yeah great days another village hub was the local pub now when i was little um probably early 80s, mid 80s, it was called The Hobbit. I remember one, one winter, it was, it was that bad with snow, we got snowed in in The Hobbit. Now considering we all lived a quarter of a mile away from The Hobbit, shows how bad it was if we were snowed in, you know, <laughs> it was that bloody bad. But um, my brother was in a push chair and, you know, we wouldn't have made it back home, so... Uh, the landlord said we could stay there. So I think we spent, you know, a good while, probably. I don't know if we spent overnight, I can't remember, but um, yeah, we definitely spent a whole day there in the pub, which my dad was pleased about, you know, as long as he had, uh, you know, the odd pint of bitter and cigars as he smoked back then. And as we got older, um, a friend of me and my brother, we were in, we were in school with, his sister um, ran the Bull's Head pub. As the Hobbit changed into the Bull's Head. Well, there's my palette camera gone, because uh, my camera ran out of uh, memory. I didn't delete all the previous videos, but there we go. Anyway, yeah, the, the local pub, um, my mate's 
sister had it and I think she owns it she still does now she still owns it as far as I know it's been a few years since I've been but it's a cracking pub I'll put the link in the description actually if you're ever in uh, Muniash near Baker in the Peak District go to the Bull's Head pub the food is brilliant And anyway, yeah, um, because my mate, um, whose sister owned this pub, we had, you know, we grew up drinking bloody, um, can, um, not cans of Coke, um, draft Coke. It used to be bottles, but um, my mate's um, sister, Sharon, installed... Um, um, a machine that dispensed um, coke and Fanta and everything just like a gun really behind the bar and uh, you press a button and out come Lilt or Fanta or coke or whatever so we had coke on tap we most days we pestered the kitchen for chip butties and scampy sandwiches and stuff like that which was good and um but the best thing was, uh, around the back of the bar, which is all still there, there was a pool room. I don't know if the pool room's there, but we had this pool room, and that was our hanging out spot, if you like, when we were growing up. And, yeah, we, we'd spend, you know, all day in this pool room. Even when the pub was shut, we'd be in there, playing pool and everything else. And um, we got hold of the key for this uh, pool table obviously you have to put money in you know it's i don't know how much it was back then bloody 40p or whatever and um you know you put the money in it dispenses the balls for you and off you go but we had we had the key we had access to this uh, key so we used to open it up this pool table and uh, get the balls out that way which was great because we, you know, <laughs> we used to have the tournaments. We were playing pool all day and into the night and wouldn't have to pay because it was all accessed using the key. And it was, um, I say, God, it was probably early to mid 90s perhaps. Um, we'd be in there because we, we were old enough to be in there on our own and everything and um, there'd be various parents from the village in the pub anyway if it was open but um, yeah we used to sit in there doing tournaments and it was around the time that um, there's a in the UK there was a game show in the early 90s late 80s called Big Break it was hosted by Jim Davidson and they had um, an expert well there's my hand going at the right time again um, expert pool player called John Virgo um, he, he would come on and do a feature where he'd do trick shots and things like that you know jumping the white cue ball over another ball hitting I don't know a blue ball into the pocket and so on you know doing tricks and uh, we we copied him and we started doing these trick shots and um, I remember one occasion you know in, in this uh, pool room I was doing I, I was jumping the cue ball you know the white ball hitting it in a way to jump it over i don't know a black ball or something like that messing about and i hit it and it jumped and it it bloody shot across the pool room it all landed in slow motion this ball just went right across this pool room and smashed into a bloke's pint at the other end of the room <laughs> he wasn't happy <laughs> I, th I think uh, the poor boy, someone's parents bought him a drink to replace it so honour was served but anyway I um, remember one occasion one of our gang um, 
from a plain pool and he smashed the bloody um, lamp over the top of the pool table which was quite expensive for the pub to fix they weren't particularly happy about that we all got bollocked there's me doing actions for pools I was uh, talking about it then probably uh, describing the bloke's pipe being smashed yeah but anyway this is uh, plodding on quite nicely it's looking all right nice uh, darker foreground just to lead the eye in a bit it's not bad at all but yeah if, if you ever over in Money Ash in Derbyshire check out the bull's head again link is in the description great memories in that place it was our biker grove if you like if you ever watched biker grove in the 80s and 90s another U uk thing it was our proper hangout place Yeah, it was, it was in that pool room. It was the first time I got absolutely blind drunk. I was causing carnage. And one occasion, you know, the green felt on um, pool tables. Mate of mine, he, uh, we were playing pool. And a little hole had developed on the green felt. And, you know, the, the end of the, the tip of the queue just caught this hole and went whoosh, just ripped up the length of this bloody uh, felt so <laughs> again pub wasn't happy we well, got bollocked made a right mess of it so uh, they had to replace the felt as well i'd like to go back and see if it's the same table see how much it's changed last time i went it's probably about 15 years ago and it's uh, it hadn't changed then i'd love to go back anyway but yes it's uh, coming on quite nicely so yeah it was uh, quite funny yesterday watching that uh, me uh, laughing just couldn't control myself it was so funny you know, I, I laughed so hard that it hurt <laughs> doing that voiceover. No such danger today. I think this is about my third third attempt in doing the voiceover, so I think I'm well rehearsed. I'm just going to put a bit of that blue on the distance there, just to draw the eye and just give the illusion of some distance, which works quite well. Yeah, doesn't look too bad. Lovely stuff. Yeah, as, as I say, I'm, I'll do this painting a bit at a time. I think that's probably the way forward. You know, I'll still do my quick half an hour a la prima jobs, but um, I think this is quite nice. Just uh, found it very relaxing. Just doing a bit at a time, I'm not rushing. It's just a case of seeing how far I get and then uh, just leave it a couple of days and get back to it. Just chip away at it. The spring is almost, well it is, it's pretty much spring now. Clocks go forward this evening, which is good. Lighter nights, lighter evenings. Which will do me good because, you know, past six months or so, I've put on a bit of timber. Because of the, the nature of the job I'm doing now and sitting painting all the time, it doesn't really help my waistline. So uh, I want to go out walking a bit more, take my camera out with me. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's quite nice, this Indian yellow. It comes out the tube brown, Indian yellow does. So greeny brown it doesn't look very pleasing but the second you just add a, a dash of titanium white into it the color just pops as you can see it's lovely very nice color i love doing the clouds from the fingers so yeah thank you joe for your suggestion about the gloves it would have never crossed my mind Now I wonder if, you know, the salt and everything that's on your skin, I wonder if that affects the paint as well. It'd be interesting to know that. I'm sure I read somewhere that it does, I don't know. But um, that'll be interesting if you let me know in the comments. Oh, hello. <laughs> that was, uh, I'm sat in the bedroom. And my wife just, uh, she forgot I was doing a voiceover and she just poked her head through the door <laughs> and realised. <laughs> I thought for a minute it was a call out then. But yeah, um, being on call and I've got black gloves on, which might be a bit of a giveaway. When I'm not painting, I, uh, I work in the funeral business the local undertakers hence me being on call and hence the black gloves so I'm not a serial killer after all and uh, doing that job there's no no greater privilege and you get to meet some very special people And uh, my colleagues, I love my colleagues, they're amazing. Very generous colleagues, big hearted, very kind. And, uh, you yeah, know, good senses of humour as well, which is important in that sort of job. You know, we don't laugh and joke all the time, you know, but. Um, they're just uh, nice to work with. Not normally in the business of, I certainly don't do it on Facebook. I don't announce what I do for a living. I never have done with Facebook. But I'm um, not going to go into any more detail than that. You know, in terms of my job and the painting. I think we're just about at a point where I can stop, put this one to bed and come back to it in uh, two or three days time. Oh, I do like this yellow. So yeah, in case you wonder why I'm on call quite a lot, you know why. Yeah, it's getting there nice. I particularly like the blue. It does look a bit um, Ukrainian, you know, the yellow and the blue, which isn't a bad thing, you know. I've got Ukrainian friends, I've got Russian friends. Well, I, I, I say I had Russian friends. I'll probably end up getting raided now by bloody MI6 or something saying that. But uh, yeah, I've got one particular Russian friend who is a very good friend of mine. I haven't seen him for a few years. Camera's wobbly as I adjust things. I don't know what I'm adjusting. Yeah, it's sort of focus out a bit. So yeah, I think we're almost there. There's not much more to go, I don't think. So don't forget to subscribe and thank you if you already have. It means a heck of a lot. Um, I've got 
microphone battery charged up and everything else like that so my next video will be alive but let me know in the comments if you prefer this way let me know or if you prefer me talking live let me know speaking live um perhaps in i don't know a year or two i'll probably do a live stream but um one i need to teach myself how to do it Two, I need to accommodate for my laptop in my studio. Um, I need a new microphone. Um, I've got um, a GoPro camera somewhere in the house which I'll dig out. So I'll have that as well. I'll, I'm going to... That's the first thing I can do is get another camera. So I've got a camera looking at me, you know, face on if you like, that can clip to my um, easel or somewhere. So that's plans on the in the pipeline. Hoping to get an exhibition soon at the Ink Gallery. I'll let you know how that goes. I'm just in the process of doing me, you know, renewing my artist statement and choosing the right paintings, which I need to do right. It's not the sort of thing you can uh, get wrong doing an artist statement and choosing paintings. But anyway, just about there. Don't forget, as well as YouTube, I am on Facebook, Instagram, and johnkid.co... Oh, I can't say it. johnkid.co.uk I can never say it, so I've got a, a speech impediment, so I always have to pause... That's why most videos I get johnkid.co.uk wrong, unless I say it slowly. But anyway, that is that. I hope you like. I think the job is a good one. And thank you so much for watching and bearing with me. I really do value your support and everything else. Put a bit more blue in the distance there. But yeah, I think we're just about there. So thank you so much for watching. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.